Hi, my name is Bob Hamilton from bobhamilton.net. I'm here at Deering Banjos in Spring Valley, California, outside of San Diego, and I'm here to get you started playing the banjo. Here's one of the easiest things that you can do with a banjo right now. It's an open G chord. For a lot of beginners, you're gonna start playing in the key of G, simply because your first chord and your last chord will most often be the open G chord. A couple of ways that you can play that G chord, one way is to take your, your thumb and brush across the strings down towards the floor. You can also take your fingers and use the hard part of your fingernail and you get a brighter sound. And sometimes people will do down, up with their fingers. There's other ways of playing with a pick or metal finger picks, but we'll get to those later. So, in the meantime, you've got your first and last chord for every song in the key of G right here. Now that you know how to play a G chord, tune the banjo and what the parts of the banjo are, let's get started with playing a two chord jam. The two chords you will need to know are, the first one is the open G, very simple, no left hand needed. When it comes time to play the chord that we're gonna learn, which is D7, take your pointer finger, put it on the first fret of the B string. Take your middle finger, put it on the second fret of the center string of the banjo, the G string, or the third string. And you'll notice that that chord uses your two peace sign fingers. When you have those, those notes placed down, make sure you get your finger up against the fret not away from the fret, but more, slightly more than halfway to the fret. Apply a little bit of pressure and give it a strum. The chord name is D7. It's a very easy two finger chord. And in this jam, we're gonna play G and D7 back and forth, four strums each. When it comes time to return to the G chord, simply lift those fingers up, but keep them hovering right above. Usually within an inch is a safe way to do it. So I'm gonna strum my open G chord four times while hovering above the two finger D7. One, two, three, four. Here's the change and we drop those two fingers down. Three, four. Returning to G, but concentrating on keeping that, those fingers hovering. Three, beginners will make this mistake. They'll go, take their hand right off the banjo. What happens is when it's time to return to D7 is they have to work extra hard to find those notes again. And there's a huge pause there. So we're going for smoothness. Practice the hover. It will be very, very important for not just this chord change, but for other chord changes. Three, and I'm just strumming these with my thumb very easy and I'm trying to make sure I go at a slow enough tempo where I don't leave awkward pauses in my chord progression. And one more time, here's D7, three and four, and the final chord will almost always be 